Today we are in Drone Paradise in this stunning area, but unfortunately we keep facing a big problem. Let's get into the video. Hey guys, it's Darren, welcome to the video. So what a stunning place. And could you pick a better place to fly your drones? So I brought both drones with me today on a really nice hot day in England, which is rare. So over to the DJI Mini 2. First of all, let's get that drone up in the air now. So the Mini 2 is perfect for travel like this, just being able to take this drone out and get some stunning photos and videos of this area. It doesn't have active track, but we'll be showing you some tricks throughout the video. It is super bright, harsh light today, so I'm using an ND32 filter by Freewell on both drones. And if you have watched the cinematic moves, you'll know this next shot now. You've got to love a reveal shot, haven't you? That motion blur on the lake as well. It all just fits in brilliantly. This this area, I just absolutely love it. It's probably the best place that I've flown all year, hands down. And I could use so many batteries here. But the big problem again with this is this goddamn dimming issue that we're getting on the DJI Mini 2, on the DJI Air 2S using a fly app and an iPhone. I just can't figure out why this is doing this. It just constantly happens all the time. I mean, I'm actually there under a bush to try and stay within the shade. And this part of this video now is screen recorded. So whether that's a problem, I've tried every single setting, but this screen just goes so dark really quick. I'm around about 70 odd percent battery. I wanted to get some shots of this for a future uh, project I'm working on, but it just goes so dark. I just can't get the shots I want. It's ridiculously frustrating. So 10 minutes into that film, I can't see the screen, even under this bush. So the DJI Air 2S is gonna to have to hold on a minute. Luckily, we've got a cooler box with us. So I'm gonna shove the phone in the cooler box and then make use of this stunning area, trying to get that temperature of the phone down. Hopefully then I can see the actual phone. You can tell we're having a lot of fun in this area. Look, we had another phone with us. So the phone, my phone has actually cooled down a bit now. So I'm getting some good shots of here. I mean, look at that house on this island. It's so many opportunities making money from shots in this area. Wow. Anyway, but the iPhone and the DJI Fly are just not compatible in hot weather. This screen dimming issue is an absolute disaster. I am using the latest iPhone. I've spoke to Apple and they're suggesting that the Fly app is not very optimized in at all so whether they're passion blame there i don't know but i've had no problems with other apps aside from the dji fly app in hot weather where it causes this auto dim just look at this now this active track feature which you can do it's a bit of a hack but quick shot and then that droney again and just look how well it locks onto this boat and you can get some great shots just with a bit of practice so as you can see now i'm just going to speed parts of this shot up but it remains locked onto this the whole time it's incredible that it actually able to do this, especially in harsh light. Go and give that a try, it works really well. But I got five minutes of flying there and now the screen's gone dark yet again. So cooler box is out and so let's go and explore this area again. We absolutely love this place. It's so relaxing and fun. Let's get this phone now on the DJI Air 2S. Mm. 
making use of all those active track modes on the DJI Air 2S is certainly a lot of fun, helps out a lot to get those cinematic shots and the shots I do feel look so tack sharp, they're of really good quality. So a great combination of teamwork there from the skipper and the drone pilots and also with the help of the active track. The DJI Air 2S performed fantastic there. It's great seeing this, especially straight off the memory card. But unfortunately, with the iPhone dimming issue, we can have all the best drones in the world. But if we can't see that phone in hot conditions, I mean, this is the UK as well, so you guys must be struggling so much. This could be that this DJI Fly app is not optimized properly. And if it is, that's the case, then we need an update on this because it just ruins it. Now, thank God for Master Shots because my phone is now black. So Master Shots is the only thing I could do. So right now I'm having to literally squint at the screen to see it. So all I can do is really land it. But when you use master shots, you also get all the raw footage as well. So you can actually use all your footage and the clips it does automatically for you to make your own montage, which is great. I would no way be able to get cinematic shots like this when the screen is just not accessible. I could not see this because of this issue. So I don't know what to suggest. It's not always ideal to have a sunshade with you. You know, you can't have an ice pack strapped your back at all times if you want to connect up to your phone i really don't know but thank god for the great area we had a stunning great time in this area we enjoyed every single second of it but unfortunately it was ruined as regards to the drone shots because of this dimming issue so let's just hope and pray that we can get a better result on maybe the next dji fly app the android systems your phone don't don't dim so that's great so i'm going to be using an android device for filming on hot days so please suggest any android devices which you think but as i said before there's no point having all the gadgets in the world especially drone related is if the phone you're going to be using to actually see this drone flying is a load of crap when it's hot because it goes dark so i hope you enjoyed that guys i'll make a cinematic version of this take care thanks so much for watching if you got this far and i'll see you all soon Bye bye